Hi everyone, this is a practice placement into math 1431, number 25, uh, 21 through 25. So they want to know, this is actually an easy problem if you know your graphs. They want to know where cosine of x and secant of x intersect in this particular interval. So I kind of went ahead and drew, drew cosine. You should know how to kind of get the characteristic curve. And then you should know these four quadrandal type points. This pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and this one, I should have made it a little more over here, and 2 pi. And you just go backwards, negative pi over 2, this is negative pi, negative 3 pi over 2, and this would be uh, negative 2 pi on the x-axis. So basically, you should know that also secant that has asymptotes at cosine zeros. And I'll go ahead and draw those. All right. And secant is just where you kind of get the, the, the midpoint here and draw down here. Here it would go up, this would go up, go down, and this part would go up. So they're secant. So what they're asking is where do they intersect? And this is where they intersect, right here, where I'm putting the blue dot. Okay, they want between negative pi over 2, all right, so from here to 3 pi over 2. So where do they intersect? Well, there's only two parts. They intersect here and here. So, uh, where's my paper? So they intersect, the solution sets would be at 0 and at pi. That's the only place they intersect between negative pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Okay, right in there. Okay, so just make sure you know your graphs. Okay, uh, the next one uh, looks easy enough. Uh, we're going to have to use a quadratic formula, so make sure you know it. You don't want to have to keep looking um, and memorizing it, so just make sure you really know your quadratic formula. So basically, I'm going to move this stuff uh, on the right side to the left. So I'm subtracting the 2x squared. I'm going to add the 5x, and I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. So I'm going to get x squared um, plus 5x minus 10 equals 0. So since um, I can't factor this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. And it doesn't look too difficult, so... I'm going to write down my ABCs. So basically we get negative 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 4 times 1 times negative 10. So those two negative oh, over 2 times 1, which is just 2. So we get negative 5 plus or minus square root of 65 over 2. And the way they write it is um, negative 5 over 2 plus square root of 65 over 2 and negative 5 over 2 minus square root of 65 over 2. So pretty easy. Make sure you know how to do the quadratic formula. All right. This one is where you're just going to set these two equal each other and find. I'm going to go ahead and graph the G. The G is right here. Let me see if I can get it on here. So there's G. I really need this side better. Something like that. And then this is a parabola with the shift to the left. One, two, three, four. And down, two, three, four. Down by four. And then I'm just going to graph the, kind of graph this a little bit. So it's like, I'm just sketching it. Don't think it's perfect. What they're looking for is the x-coordinate right here, and that's what you're looking for.
that intersection. So this is uh, F and this is G. So you just set them equal to each other. So negative X equals, I'm going to go ahead and uh, foil this out. This is X squared plus 8X plus 16 minus 4. And then I'm going to move the uh, X over so we get 0 equals X squared plus 9X plus 12. Since I can't, um, since I can't, um, uh, factor this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula would be negative B, which is negative 9, plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 4 times 12 over 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So you get negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 33. Is that right? 81 minus 48 over 2. All right? We want the x coordinate here. So basically, it's going to be, um, just a minute. So basically, uh, this is your answer. This is x equals, by the way. And if you, you extend this, so there's your two points right in there. So the way they have it is negative 9 over 2 plus square root of 35 over 2 and negative 9 over 2 minus square root of 35 over 2. So this one would be this this one right here and this one would be this one. All right. Um they're going to give you these uh, linear equations in standard form and the best way instead of rewriting it is just know the slope in the standard form is negative a over b, where this would be ax plus by equals c. So I'm just going to find the slope, negative, and a is negative 8, and b is 6. So my slope here is positive 4 over 3. All right, that's your slope. And it says parallel, so parallel lines have the same slope. So now all I have to do is write an equation here, plus b of x plus b, and I'm going to plug in my x and y. So my y is negative 6, and my x is 4, plus b, and to simplify, I'm going to subtract, um, this is negative 18 over 3. I have to have the same denominator. All I did was write this. This is negative 6. So, because I have to add these. So, what you're going to get on this one is negative 34 over 3 equals B. So, I'm going to plug this back into that. So, your equation is Y equals 4 thirds x minus 34 over 3. All right? And the last one is pretty easy. It says find the line perpendicular, the slope of the line. So I'm going to do that. The slope is negative a over b. So that's going to be negative, negative 7 over negative 3. Uh, three negatives make a negative, so that's negative 7 thirds. So the slope of the line is the negative, when it's perpendicular, it's called the negative reciprocal. So that would just be you flip this and change the negative to a positive. So that's your slope. And that's all for this one. Thank you, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.